there is more suffering and more loss of life and more destruction as a result of these wars, which does not serve the people in these countries, nor does it serve our interests and our security. Congresswoman, um, first, thank you for your service, which is something thank I you. say to everyone who has served that, come on, that comes on the show, and I think it's important. Um, that being said, my understanding is you know how I feel about your stance on foreign policy, and when I hear the name Tulsi Gabbard, I think of a Assad apologist. I think of someone who comes back to the United States and is spouting propaganda from Syria. You have said that the Syrian President Assad is not the enemy of the United States, yet he's used chemical weapons against his own people 300 times. That was a red line with President Obama. That's our, that is not our enemy. 13 million Syrians have been displaced. So when you say regime change is hurtful for the country, but gassing children isn't more hurtful, it's hard for me to understand where you come from a humanitarian standpoint if you were to become president. Uh, well, you're putting words in my mouth that I've never said. You did not say all. that Syrian President Assad is not the enemy of the United States. Say it now, clarify. <laughs> the, the issue here is how can we help alleviate the suffering of people? Just really one moment, is he an enemy of the United States? An enemy of the United States is someone who threatens our safety and our security. There is no disputing the fact that Bashar al-Assad in Syria is a brutal dictator. There is no disputing the fact that he has used chemical weapons and other weapons against his people. There are other terrorist groups in Syria who have used similar chemical weapons and other weapons of terror against the people of Syria. This is, this is an unfortunate thing that wrenches at every one of our hearts. This is not something I'm disputing, nor am I apologizing or defending these actions. My point is, that the reality we are facing here is that since the United States started waging a covert regime change war in Syria starting in 2011, the lives of the Syrian people have not been improved. Their well-being has not gotten to a better place. Their suffering has not decreased. It has increased in addition to the fact that Al-Qaeda is stronger in Syria today than ever before. So not only are we dealing with the fact that this regime change war we've been waging in Syria has not helped the Syrian people, it has made their lives worse off. Bashar it has also, his people it has has also undermined our national security, leaving us in a place where Al Qaeda is a stronger threat there than they ever have now, been before. Tulsi, Tulsi. And Iran has greater influence in Syria than ever before.